is up guys, welcome back to Naven GL, one, two, three, four. I know it's been like a month since I've recorded any kind of video. And I don't even know how long it's been since I've recorded a prediction video. But, that doesn't matter. No, 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 I'm not going away for a long time. So get that out your mind, all right? Because I am here with you guys today to give you my WWE Survivor Series 2018 full show predictions. Now, as you can see, I don't got TKO with me. Not right now, at least. When he comes over, we're doing it for his channel. But right now, I'm doing it by myself, just for you guys. So without any other further introduction, let's get into it. First match we got is on the pre-show, I think. I don't really know. I haven't been paying attention to the match card. But it's for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We got the champion Buddy Murphy versus Mustafa Ali. I don't really watch the Cruiserweights. I don't know about you guys. Um, I don't really care for the Cruiserweights. I'm going to say Buddy Murphy on this one. Yeah. I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling Buddy Murphy's going to come out with the W. So second match we got is the tag team version of the elimination match for Team Raw and Team SmackDown. But it's tag team. I'm not reading all these tag teams that are on the screen right now for each team right now because that's a, that's a lot of work. So I'm just going to say Team Raw or Team SmackDown. I'm going to look at the screen real quick just to see, just to, just to guess. Okay, they got those people. They got them. All right. This hurts. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm going with Team SmackDown because I see they got um, they got the New Day, they got the Good Brothers, they got the Usos. Yeah, I'm going with Team SmackDown for the win. Third match we got is tag team championship match, but it's not for titles, so it's just the champions from Raw versus the champions from SmackDown. So we got Authors of Pain, the Raw tag team champions versus the SmackDown champions. The bar. I'm gonna have to go with Authors of Pain on this one. I mean, you look at the bar and you look at AOP and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, so AOP with the win. Fourth match we got is the Intercontinental Champion from Raw, Seth Rollins, versus the SmackDown United States Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't like Seth Rollins. And. Right now, I'm not really a fan of Nakamura. That's because like, I, I rarely watch SmackDown. And I think Dean is going to come out and kind of, you know, cost Seth the match. So I'm going to have to say Nakamura is going to come out, win the match, due to the fact Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins beef together. I don't know what else is going to happen after that, but I choose Nakamura. Next match we got is the Women's Survivor Series match. The elimination match. We got Team Raw and we got Team SmackDown. Again, not saying all the names on the screen. That's a lot of work. You guys know who they are. If you don't, go look. I'm gonna have to go with Team Raw because I see they got, got, got a bunch of fucking jobbers is what they got. But they got Naya. That's, that's, that's about it. Team Raw. Next match we got is the Men's Survivor Series Elimination Match. We got Team Raw, Team SmackDown. Again, I'm not saying all of these names. Y'all can meet over to another page and look it up if you guys want. But I'm going to have to go with Team SmackDown just because I know they got Rey Mysterio. And that's my favorite of all time. Plus, they got the best in the world, Shane McMahon. So, you already know they're going to win because he's the best in the world. And they got Jeff Hardy. So, like, what? The only thing they got on Team Raw is, is Braun to me. That's the only dominant person on that team, in my opinion. But I'm going to have to go with Team SmackDown for this one. Next match we got is the women's champions match. We got the champion from Team Raw, Ronda Rousey. 
and it was originally supposed to be against Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champion, but you know, Nia kind of fucked her shit up, fractured her face, broke her nose, gave her a black eye, made the bitch bleed everywhere, and Becky Lynch can't compete in this match. And it kind of sucks because I was actually looking forward to this match. Because now I don't. Because now it's Charlotte. So it's going to be Ronda versus Charlotte. Nobody cares. We wanted to see Becky. And now we don't have her. So I'm going to say Ronda. If Becky was in the match, I would have said Becky. But no. Now, now it's Charlotte. So I'm picking Ronda. And the main event. Nobody cares about this match either. Maybe some of you do, but not at this time. Not right now. We got the men's champions match. So we got the champion from Raw, the universal champion Brock Lesnar, versus the SmackDown WWE champion, Daniel Bryan. Now, yes, everybody wanted to see Daniel Bryan as WWE champion, but not right now. Because we wanted to see Brock Versus AJ number two. And what the fuck did they do? They put the title on Daniel Bryan. Because somehow, that's a better match. I see Daniel Bryan getting ragdolled all around the ring. I mean, if he wins to Brock, kudos. Kudos to you. Then you deserve the W. But I don't see that happening. Not right now. Maybe down the line in the future, but like, not not right now. And I'm not a fan of them putting the title back on Brock. I think that was fucking stupid, WWE. You guys are assholes, for real. You should have put it on Braun. But no, too stupid. But I don't see Daniel Bryan winning this match. I see Brock winning. If AJ, then yes. I would have said AJ, but no, we can't have that. We can't have what we want when it comes to wrestling, you guys. You ever notice that? Can't have it. We wanted Becky, she's gone. We wanted fucking AJ, we got Daniel. We wanted Braun as champion, we got Brock. What the fuck? We can't win, ever, in life. We wanted a good women's Survivor Series team. We got a bunch of fucking jobbers. Can someone explain? I don't know what the fuck is going on in WWE right now. Vince is losing his fucking mind. And I'm pretty sure they're not watching me right now. And yes, I'm trying to work for them in the future. But don't fuck me over like you guys are fucking over all these superstars. I don't want to be fucked over if I work for you guys. Like, no. I will leave. I will yeet the fuck out of that building. Real quick, I'll go work for ROH or New Japan or TNA, somebody. But yeah, that's the end of the video, you guys. Those are my predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Also, make sure to click on any one of my videos that appear on the screen. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on that bell notification so you know when I upload a new video. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.